Are you good? And we are live. What is going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in and watching in the future. I'll flip this camera around. We are live in South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. It's a beautiful day out on the beach today. Lots of people out here walking around, eating. Whew, a bunch of people getting on their jet skis, rental jet skis. Today, thanks for tuning in everybody. Today, uh, it's actually after my dive, I just went and, well, went in one of these, this boat that left earlier, like five times bigger than that biggest boat over there. And uh, it was fun, but it's a little rough today. A little rough, I got a little uh, seasick. Check it out. If you guys are familiar with uh, South Carolina, Yo, what's up, Die for Good, man? Thanks for tuning in, that's awesome. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I should live stream, but I'm like, you know what, I'm here, I'm out at the beach. I'll just do a quick live stream, I'm gonna walk down the pier for y'all. I'm out here in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Afternoon, what's up, Sean S? Um, I'm actually out at Goat Island. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like wild, I guess wild goats out here. There's one out there. It's pretty cool. Oh, oh, today was awesome though. My first, my first ever uh, time diving in the ocean, and I came out with a Express. Let me, let me not make sure I don't get their their name wrong. Express Water Sports. If you guys ever want to go have a good time, go diving. I think they do all the jet ski rentals out here in Merle's Inlet. Hey, what's up, Diane? So I'm just gonna walk down this pier and walk out there and do a quick little walking vlog, talking with you guys. Quick little live stream. There's a bunch of people on their jet skis. Yeah, it's pretty busy today. I think it's usually busy. This is a really popular area. A lot of people come out here and uh, eat and uh, hang out and just walk around. Check it out. There's some trash down there. I don't know if I can get to it though. <laughs> I'm done with the water today, guys. It's a little shop, somebody's buying stuff over there. So, I'm gonna wait till a few more people get on here and then go over, go over my dive today. Yeah, it was beautiful. It's a beautiful day right now. I feel a lot better. I, I got a, I got a little seasick earlier. It was actually a lot seasick. But I haven't been on a boat in a while. What are the plans for the rest of the day? You're looking at it. I'm gonna walk and do this, and then probably, probably uh, go take a nap back at the, the condo, and then <laughs> head back to my house for it's like a three-hour drive. What's up, Flash in your pan? Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Yeah, so this place is beautiful. Check it out. They got boardwalks all up and down. Merle's Inlet. We got Goat Island out here with a lot of like wild goats running around. Really cool. <laughs> so yeah, my plans for this today, I'm done diving. I just wanted to kind of do a live stream after the fact. I was trying to do a live stream on the boat heading back for you guys. But I did not, I, I could not do it. I got, I got seasick and dizzy and uh, I was like wanting really hard to, to film and do a live stream on the way back. I, I'm more of a river guy than an ocean guy, but it was still fun. Yeah, seasick is, seasickness is the worst. So check this out. Man, I need to get Nug and Britt. We need to all come out and uh, do one of these. <laughs> you ride the bike and it powers the boat. That's pretty funny. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Make sure to leave a like. So this is going to be a quick little walking live stream. And uh, these are always great because you can walk around with a selfie stick and just have a bunch of people stare at you. <laughs> but so today, 
I did something I never did before, and which is scuba diving in the ocean. There's a boat. And so it was like a little chartered scuba dive trip out to this sunken tugboat. And the tugboat was actually sunk on purpose for diving purposes. There's a lot of like wrecks out here. Like spike. <laughs> yeah, it's really beautiful today. And it's fairly busy. There's usually even more people, I feel like. But uh, we got some live music over here. You chummed a little on a small ocean fishing boat. Kept fishing though, nice. We got. Some, I hope I don't get demonetized from the music. <laughs> Check this out. A little pirate ship. That's cool. I think they take like kids out on this thing. You can squirt water and stuff. Cool. So we're going to walk down this pier. I need to get me one of those boats. That'd be real nice. Yeah, this place is beautiful. So I went scuba diving today and it was uh, it's about, it was about an hour, almost an hour and a half to get out to the spot um, out on the ocean. So I did pretty good for like the first 40 minutes and then I started feeling a little seasick and I was like, oh gosh, this isn't gonna be good. And then, it, you know, it, 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 being on the boat was a little bad, but it, I didn't, it wasn't, it didn't get really bad until the boat stopped out in the middle of the ocean. And it was like, not real choppy, but just choppy enough where it's like wavy. Oh, that got to me. That was bad. And I, I, I got in the water, I was doing two dives today. So I did two dives after the first dive. Being in the water felt good. I wasn't, you know, I'm not seasick, but it's on that, being on that boat, just going back and forth and back and forth. That was not fun. There's a beer bottle up there. So after the first dive, I got up, we have to wait 30 minutes. And I don't know if I'm, I'll just keep talking. Yeah, so we had to uh, wait 30 minutes and then right before I was about to get in my next dive, I ended up get, getting sick and uh, bleh, like four times I threw up. And I'm not the type of person to throw up. It's, I don't even know the last time, it's been years. It has to be very bad, very bad for me to actually get sick. So, um, but I recovered. After I got everything out of my system, I was good after that. So then I went diving and it was awesome. Oh, and the coolest part of the dive was, we saw tons of fish, we got to explore <laughs> Adam Nation. <laughs> yeah, we got to explore this sunken tugboat. Um, and uh, there's all types of fish and stuff. And I actually saw a shark today, which was awesome. I got to dive with a shark. It was like for 10 minutes, but it was still really cool. Got some more live music. A lot of people out here. Yeah, this place is beautiful. What kind of sharing? What do you mean? Yeah, so this place, this is awesome. I've been out here a few times before. My girlfriend's family actually has a place out here, or near here, so we come out here a lot. Um, but I've never dove before in the ocean or out, you know, out here. There's some rivers, but it was awesome. It was a great day. Besides, besides, you know, the getting seasick and throwing up, it was a great day. <laughs> I, had a, I had a lot of fun. I think I'm going to probably stick to my rivers most of the time, unless it's like a close offshore dive. Or it's not. I mean, you have to go like an hour and a half. It gets pretty crazy. 
I'm starting to feel it. I was the only one though. Look at this. The water's one of those like mussels. To, I don't know what those things are. Clam, like to dried up, dried up junk. There's a bunch of boats out here. Oh, I see DNR. DNR's out here. Where's Britt at? <laughs> there they are. DNR's out coming to get you, Britt. <laughs> I don't know if Britt's on here. Probably not. DNR. Oh, yeah. Try magnet fishing. It's actually, so magnet fishing is actually illegal in South Carolina. <laughs> Apparently. I'll still probably do it when the time is right, but I'm not gonna do it right today. I'm tired, man, I'm beat. I almost didn't do this live stream. <laughs> Check out all these birds up here. Just chilling up on the on the dock posts. If you're wondering if I lived in Atlanta? No, I don't live in Atlanta. <laughs> I just drive there all the time because that's where, you know, near Brit and, and Nug. Ten dollars, Tracy Fire, for bread and crackers lunch. Thank you so much, Tracy. I really appreciate the donation. That is awesome. Yeah, I actually uh, had a little bit. Had a, we just ate lunch with all the dive guys, and we just they just left. So, um, but I'll get dinner. <laughs> but yeah, I could only eat a little bit. I'm trying to go gentle. Normally, I would power down. Like I got I got some bread, uh, hush puppies and stuff. Bread is good, just light foods. But yeah, I really appreciate that donation. Thank you so much. like crane I guess we're fixing docks and stuff it's pretty cool you love my videos Cody thanks I appreciate that that is awesome I really appreciate that yeah got a lot more videos coming out I had one come out earlier if you guys hadn't checked that out make sure to go watch that video um, that was a fun one. I went out with uh, Jeremy, I believe. That was the Coke sign one today, yeah. Bunch of trash. At least people are throwing it away. I did see some trash out here. It's pretty shallow out here, right, actually. I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Usually I don't have to work Mondays, but I have to work tomorrow, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But hey, I can't complain. I had a good day today. Better now. I'll tell you, like, on the boat ride back, <laughs> it took forever. It seemed like it was never, we were never going to get back. I was just like trying to look at the shoreline to like not feel sick. But we're back. As soon as I got back, I was good. <laughs> yeah, seasickness is not great. All the other, I was trying not to be that one guy. My other friend that was with us was kind of labeled as that guy that gets seasick. But now I think I took that title. <laughs> I made it pretty far and then all of a sudden it would just hit me. I'm like, oh, I got to throw up. <laughs> I just leaned over the deck. Hopefully no scuba divers were underneath me <laughs> when I was over them. I'm kind of walking against the sun here too. Yeah, it's a beautiful day today. I look at all these fishing poles. Somebody threw away, I guess they're we're just one. Here. We made it to the end. 
Hey, what's up, Renee B? Yeah, I just got done diving and uh, <laughs> actually I just put my drone too over this whole area. It kind of sucked because I was trying to fly my drone on the boat, but I just felt too sick. So when I, I right before I actually got finally sick, I like pulled my drone out and then I couldn't find the one little cable to plug into my phone. So I couldn't fly my drone. It's probably a good reason because I got sick right after. So I, that would have been bad if I got sick while the drone was flying. but. I did get to fly my drone around this whole area and I got a little bit of footage of the boat itself that I was on. I think a little bit far away when it went out again, so that was cool. But yeah, that, that was really fun. New experience for me, so that video will be out sometime in a few weeks. I got so many videos, because I'm only posting like one video a week, it's hard for me to like edit more than that. because. My normal job, all I do all day is edit. So going home and then trying to do more editing for myself is a little bit, uh, a little bit, I'm trying not to get burnt out, you know. It's what I love doing, but you can still get burnt out doing what you love. Just got back from uh, walking the piers with Sam. Seen some uh, seals and baby orcas and ice. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful here for sure. An awesome day. I was like, I couldn't just leave you guys hanging. I posted a bunch of my stories like on the or well, yeah, on the boat. So if you guys want to see actually on the boat footage, you can watch my Facebook. YouTube or Instagram stories to see some of that footage. <laughs> Not yet. She's trying. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, hope you guys are having an amazing day. It's gonna be a quick little live stream. I'm just gonna walk back to my truck. My girlfriend was waiting at the house all day for me while I went diving, so this whole trip was kind of planned around diving. Somebody else's boat. It was awesome though. Great day. I'm probably gonna, I'm hopefully, I'm hoping I don't feel bad tomorrow since I kind of was a little strenuous on my body today. Sun today, I might need a hat. Should I get like an Adam Brown Adventures hat? I've been thinking about getting one. I think I need one. Or one that a hat that just says oh yeah on it. <laughs> Here's a good view of all the restaurants and stuff out here. Dead Dog Saloon is really good if you guys ever come to Merle's Inlet. This whole area is awesome. Cool little hangout. You can come out here and you know, eat food, drink, whatever you know you're into. Got live music. Oh yeah, yeah. I gotta drive another three hours later. I think I'm gonna go back and uh, take a nap before we leave. <laughs> Three hours isn't bad though. That's pretty much what I do every weekend. Every time I go uh, dive with Britton and Nug, it's like three hours, really like four, four more hours, so. You need one in the wind? <laughs> yeah, I do kind of need a hat in the wind. My hair's going crazy.
check out this this slide thing people i guess they take this out and like jump in the ocean they got like slides and trampolines all over it that's pretty cool i've never seen anybody use it but it's always there Whew. what are you guys up to what are y'all getting up to this beautiful what is it sunday now oh lord gotta work in the morning so that's basically my day going out driving an hour and a half out in the middle of the ocean and diving the clarity was pretty good actually it, they, it was the first dive they've dove in like over a year i guess they didn't dive it last year i don't think with covid and everything but you never really know how the clarity is going to be but it was pretty good it turned out to be a really good day so that was good <laughs> Do you and your girlfriend have a dream trip to, you hope to take? Um, I mean, my trips are always centered around diving. <laughs> but yeah, I think we want to go to like Europe or something. I'd love to go over the pond there. It's a good bit of money though. Pie-eyed parrot. All right, there's the pirate ship again. Well, that's a cool little like, it's like a paddle board. Or a, uh, that's, what is that? Is that a paddle board? A windsurfer, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, hopefully I can go someday. <laughs> I'm sure we will, it might be in a few years though, but. I'll we'll probably live stream it, <laughs> walking around. That'd be cool. I'm gonna try to live stream as much as possible for you guys. I think it's cool. It can helps me like connect with y'all more, which I'm I think is cool. I kind of had this like I think it'd be cool if I could do like a daily live stream. I don't know how to do that yet because I don't want to just sit in front of a camera without being somewhere or actually like doing something. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. Out here in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Yeah, the music's great. I don't want to get a, a copyright claim, though. <laughs> I don't know if that can happen or not. Oh, that's a pretty car. Look at that. Yeah, look at the shops out here selling stuff. Whew. This is awesome. J. Peters. They're pretty good. Does my girlfriend enjoy diving? No, she's never gone. I mean, she she would, but I don't think she would go anywhere but like tropical places where the water is like really clear. But we're yeah, she said she's gonna get her certification to go scuba diving. We go to like springs and stuff. Yeah, we'll go like snorkeling in springs. But uh, we're working on that. Would you guys want to see that? Me and her going out uh scuba diving you love sweet tea but can't have it yeah i freaking oh i had to stop drinking it because i'm trying to eat a little healthier i'm not doing a great job but i don't think sweet tea i mean sweet tea it's not terrible if you don't put a buttload of sugar in it but it tastes so good 
That's what we drink down south. <laughs> All right, guys. Just got back to my truck. Don't look. Don't judge me. Look at my scuba tanks. A lot of my wetsuits and stuff. Whew. That's it, guys. Short and sweet live stream. But it was fun. So, yeah. That tugboat was really fun diving that today. Um, it was like 60 feet down, so it was also the deepest I've ever gone. And... The water was like 65 degrees, so not terrible. A lot of the other guys were like shivering. I'm like, I'm pretty good with the cold. I was good. I had a six millimeter wetsuit on, so I was pretty good. Whew. All right, I'm beat. <laughs> Bye, Renee B. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'm gonna go take a nap before I drive home. It's only like three hours, which isn't, it's like two and a half, three hours. It's not bad. But, um, yeah, just to recap, it's a fun day going out, driving an hour, or uh, the boat ride one way was like an hour, 10, hour, hour and a half. And then I, uh, all I, all, luckily, all I ate today was like some McDonald's because, and a bunch of water. That was not fun. I hate throwing up more than anything. You feel like you're just dying. And then the boat's just rocking as I'm hanging over the edge. And I'm like, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, man, should I be filming this? I don't think people want to see it. But it's kind of like, I always like try to show the whole experience. I think that's that's cool to see. And it's like, I, I'd like to look back and see it. But in the moment, you don't feel like doing any filming or nothing. You just want to like be back on the land or be asleep or something but it was a lot of fun that tugboat was really cool so stay tuned for that video it'll be a little while but uh i had a lot of fun and yeah we me and my buddy the, my dive buddy saw a shark we were the only ones that saw a shark it was only for like 10 seconds but it was really cool um and it wasn't like scary either it was like it was just really chill he just he was like 10 feet close to us i think it was like a sand shark uh it's really pretty though so i got a little video of that the shark going by so I got my first ever uh, ocean dive, first ever shark I've ever seen, and I don't know, it was a lot of fun. But I'm pretty whooped, but I appreciate you guys coming out on this little mini talk post-dive uh, walk, and uh, it's a beautiful day. I hope you guys can get out if it's nice wherever y'all live. But in South Carolina, it's pretty nice. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end the live stream. Thanks for tuning in and watching, and thanks for the donation earlier. That is awesome. Thanks, Sean, for being moderating. Dad said they like puppy dogs. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, oh, I don't know about puppy dogs. This is my first ever shark, but he, he didn't get too close. I think the sand shark, he kind of came in just to kind of see what was going on, then he kind of darted out. So apparently I've heard that's what they do. They kind of come in and then go out, but... Um, everybody else was pretty jealous. They're like, man, everybody wanted to see a shark, but I got it on camera, so I will show you guys that. I'll probably post a picture or something. So follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that good stuff, and uh, I'll be posting some stuff eventually. But I think my girlfriend's going to kill me if I don't go pick her up. <laughs> She's been waiting on me. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day, and I will see y'all on the next adventure, as always. Take it easy, guys.